Hello everybody, welcome to part 3 of the Bloody Mode tutorials and I'm your host Buddy Blackford. We're going to move on to the uh, contrast group of the Blending Modes. <clears throat> if you haven't seen the uh, previous two tutorials, which should be Blending Modes Part 1 and Blending, Mars, Blending Modes Part 2, then I highly suggest that you uh, watch those first. So we're going into the contra contrast group like I said. <clears throat> and the contrast group is a little different. It's this group right here. It starts with overlay and adds, ends with hard mix. And the contrast groups pretty much take both uh, characteristics of the lighting group and the darken group and put them together to work on the layers in this. Um, they pretty much um, darken the darkest stuff, brighten the brightest, and then they drop the midtones, which is like gray. So 50% gray, which is right in between black and white, it's going to drop that right out. So let's get into the first blending mode called Overlay. And Overlay is a really popular blending mode that you will use a lot. It is a combination of the screen blend mode for the lighter pixels and the multiply blend mode for the darker pixels. And it applies these at half the strength that it does when they're on their own. So it uses 50% darken, I mean, yeah, 50% screen and 50% multiply are is what this uh, uses. Now the overlay mode calculates this based on the layer below, which is different from most other blending modes. So it's calculating the darknesses based on the layer below that's being affected, um, that's being added, rather than your active layer that's already selected. Let's head on to soft light. So soft light uses a combination of the screen blend mode and the multiply bl blend mode. And it's similar to o overlay, but um, the results are more organic-y and it's softer in a re um, kind of like transparent almost transparent highlights and shadows is what's going on with the soft light now we have a uh, hard light which is next and hard light uh, uses a combination of linear dodge and the linear burn blend modes so linear dodge was for the lighter pixels and linear burn was for the darker pixels and it uses these at 50% as well it's uh, similar to overlay. It's pretty much the opposite of overlay. <clears throat> and the fact that this blending mode, hard light, uses the active layer this time, though, instead of the layer below, which is the opposite of overlay. This means that if I switch these layers, then it's going to look like as if I had overlay on top of, um, like, it's going to look like this. So if I have overlay right now, remember how, how this looks like right here. If I switch these layers and then set this top one to hard light, or uh, which one? Yeah, hard light. Let me ch change this back to normal. It's going. It looks like the overlay again. So that's the difference there. Hard light and overlay are basically just the opposite and I was trying to illustrate that in that one. So let me put these back to normal and put this one back to hard light. Actually the next one we can go to is vivid light. So vivid light uses a mixture of the color dodge for the light pixels and color burn for the dark pixels and at 50% for both again and it's similar to hard hard mix um, but it's like, um, what do you, how do you call it? It's uh, exemplified um, more than hard mix is. Um, let's, or hard light, more than hard light is. So let's go to the next one, which is uh, linear light. So this uh, linear light is like the vivid light. Um, it uses 
However, it uses the uh, linear dodge blend mode for the light pi pixels and the linear burn mode for the darker pixels. So it pretty much does what Vivid Light does, except for with using the linear dodge and the linear burn. Let's go to the next one, and uh, that is Pin Light. So Pin Light is a little different. It uh, uses a combination of the light and blend mode and the dark and blend mode at 50% again. So if the dark pixels on the active layer are darker than the dark pixels on the underlying layer, they will be visible. If they aren't, they'll drop away. So if the pixels on the active layer are lighter than the pixels on the underlying layers, they will also be visible. If they aren't, they drop away. So it's a cool blending mode that's uh, 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 different than most of the other blending, loads, or <laughs> blending modes that are out there. Let's go to hard mix next. And you can see that hard mix is a little crazy and it kind of reminds me of um, Andy Warhol photos or Andy Warhol paintings for some reason. So the hard mix uses a linear, uh, linear light blend mode and it sets a what's called a threshold. So for the, each uh, RGB color channel, Pixels in each channel are converted to either all black or all white. So then Photoshop does uh, some math and applies it to each separate uh, RGP channel and a composite channel is created. And remember the channels of your layers are here. These are the channels. So a composite layer is created and that composite layer has up to eight colors in it. Um, you got red, green, blue, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and white. So it's a it's a kind of a wild um, blending mode. One of the coolest things about this blending mode, though, is that if you adjust the fill over here and you you lower it, more colors are going to start showing up as you can see here and then you can create different kinds of looks using this fill uh, this fill slider here so that's what's really awesome about hard mix it's kinda um, you can kinda almost create like every one of the blending modes using it almost you can almost do it but it's not quite so it's a really cool blending mode so I'm gonna stop there for that and um, that was called the contrast blending mode group. And uh, on the next one, we'll go over the other blending modes here. Um, these two bottom ones down here. So let's stop now. And I thank you for watching this tutorial. And I see you on. Um, I'll see you on the blending mode number four tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.